Maybe this video will be the permission slip or the invitation for you and for life to start moving in ways towards happiness, joy, freedom, healing, things that we have been waiting for for quite some time now. Maybe this video will be the support that you need so that you can step through the threshold. So what has not been working or what's been holding you back in life, maybe something in this video will be the flame or the spark so that you can start to move through that threshold and make your way towards healing, happiness, freedom. If life has been some degree of challenging, I just want to remind you, you are absolutely 100% not alone. And this video right here, which I published, blew up and it was confirmation to me. We were in this collective pressure cooker and why? I don't know that that's the most useful question to ask. We've all, we've all in some way, shape or form have had quite a challenging time. In this video, I wanna share with you some things that I, we can do. Think of it this way. I wanna help us find a current, like a stream or a river, find a current of that that is moving towards a better place, an island where we can experience more happiness, freedom, joy, and, and specifically, it's like currents take you. There's less effort, less struggle. Like let's find the current, get in that current and let that current take us where it want and needs to go so that we can have a better experience. And that pressure cooker, I don't know who's in control over it. I don't know why that's not what we're asking here because that's a rabbit hole. But how is it we can start to relieve and turn that pressure cooker dial so the, so the pressure comes off and we can just start to have a better experience. So I'm gonna call it the collective pressure cooker. I just wanna say that if life has been hard for you or if it has felt like it's been working in the opposite direction, your hopes and your dreams and everything you set out for in this past year or couple years, and it all just kind of went pear-shaped, I think we should validate that. We should just acknowledge it and honor it and say, you know what, it's, it's a collective experience. Maybe it's life's way of turning us all into diamonds. I mean, how else are diamonds made, right? Pressure in the darkness of the earth, out comes this beautiful sparkly thing. So if I were to read the stars, which I do, I don't know about you, and if I were to read the tea leaves, which I also do, I have a pretty good strong sense that things are starting to shift. They may not shift in how fast and how we want them, but the value of the last couple of years and how hard it's been is so real. Like who have you become as a result of the last three years? What learnings, what chance meetings had none of that happened what would you have missed out on? I mean, I think that's what I've been thinking about in my own quiet times is what has the challenges and me not getting my way? Who has that turned me into? Who have I become as a result of that? And who am I when I don't get my way? Has been a very fascinating question to really ponder. So I really do believe the currents are shifting for us. And so I wanna share some things that could help you, I, we, this is a big community growing around this work. I wanna help us, you, get into that current that is moving in a better direction. How is it you can step into that current, step out of the threshold of what was the last handful of years with love and respect? Again, what have we learned as a result of what, what we just went through? Who have we become as a result of not getting our way, of our big goals and dreams, not just not panning out. And I think that has been the collective experience. You know, we've got good intentions in our heart and we set out to do amazing things. And I think life's just like, you know what? We got, we got some higher level things to work out here and like orchestrates all of these things for humanity. So humanity, you know, the pressure, the pressure's on. I wanna share some things with you. I want to start with by saying it is going to be okay. I don't know what you've gone through recently, however that has lasted for you. Again, I do know how diamonds are created. Think of a leopard. The, 
this black spots on a leopard. A leopard wouldn't be a leopard without those black spots. And you could think of those marks as failed relationships, job change, like whatever adversity life has given us. My stance and my belief is it is going to be okay. And I also wanna say that everyone is doing the best they can with the resources they have available. And when I say resources, I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about internal resources, the beliefs and the capabilities and the goodwill, like what, what, we, what we possess within, those are the resources and that everyone is doing the best they can with the resources available and they'd probably be doing better if more resources were available. Now here's the cool thing. If there is a resource lacking, a certain belief, a certain capability, a certain behavior, we have tools to onboard that stuff in the system. I mean, that's super wicked. So if someone is saying to me, hey Ash, I really wanna change my life, but I, I need this, or I don't believe that, or I need more self-worth or whatever, we have the resources to help onboard this thing into and with someone so that, yeah, again, it's a way of stepping into a different current that is better, healthier, more useful. Sometimes it is about just doing what is manageable and doing that really, really well, like committing to that thing with your whole heart. So if it's not building a rocket ship to Mars, what is it going to be instead as a way to step into this new stream? You know, so it maybe it's just every day committing to the things that you know you can do and you will do and you you know, need to do, and, and we commit to that, and we do that, and we just do that really well. If it's basic stuff, drinking water, moving, time in quiet, no social media, journaling, anything goes, it's, that's the stuff that can definitely create a deeper sense of empowerment, authority, dominion. You get to feel like you're back in control over your life again. I mean, I know what I have found to be super helpful for me, and this is going to sound so cheesy, is gratitude, is focusing on what is working. And this was, was and is sometimes extremely difficult when we feel like we're up against a wall and things are just not working how we want or need them to work. But the power of gratitude is we get to invite, we invite the brain like, Show me what is working. So I'm grateful that my limbs work. I'm grateful I have all of my senses. I'm so grateful that, you know, fill in the blank as to what is true for you. And what this can do is start to train the brain to find what is working and it can flood the system with endorphins, feel good stuff. It's about seeing the blessings in life and looking for what is working working, confirmation of how things are starting to turn towards the better. And some of the questions could be, who have I become as a result of the total pressure cooker we've all been in? Like, who have I become as a result of that? I don't know about you, but for myself, way more patient, way more tolerant, like way more realistic because I didn't get my way. I didn't get what I wanted for, for a long period of time. And so you know, maybe that's a part of the practice is just, what am I grateful for? What is working? Who have I become as a result of not getting my way? Oh, I was having a chat with one of you last week and it was a beautiful chat, this young gentleman in India. And it was just, he was asking me how I, how I kind of came through or got over my own, you know, dark night of the soul. And I can't say I'm totally out of it, but there has been some progress. And what I said back to him is I have found that when I am in service to something other than my own desires or my own preferences, I am a much better person. So to be helpful to someone or to something else, and that is the pure intention of the YouTube channel. I think you all pick up on that is when you do well, we all do well. And if I can help affect that kind of positive change, not only is that my mission, but that is my joy. So the idea could be, is there somewhere in your life where you can be helpful to someone or something else? And it, you know, you get to fill in the blanks. Just color in the book, like color in how you want that picture. Is it animals? Is it the environment? Is it the elderly people? Is it veterans? You know, I, I wonder how we can help shift the collective the more we're in service to things that need help. Children, foster kids, 
I mean, you name it, there is no lack of things needing help right now. So I, I will speak for myself. My greatest joy and purpose in life is serving the collective, is serving the whole. I've been doing this for a really long time, 15 years. And I, I remember it was in 2008 when I, when I got clear on my purpose, everything changed. Absolutely everything in my life changed. And serving you all, serving humanity how I do for me is my, it is my joy and it is my purpose. Is it always easy? No, there's no. So maybe it's finding something that you care about and giving your time, giving your heart, giving your attention, giving your money as much or as little, but being in service to something else, something that is really meaningful to you and seeing what can shift for you as a result of that. Again, it's about stepping into a new current that is just different. It's different than where we've been. I wanna read you a quote. I have my notes here. My handwriting is terrible. Can you guys see that? Happiness comes from usefulness. So being helpful to something or to someone else. And that, again, it's been my golden ticket to sanity and to joy. I can't help but to want to recommend it or suggest it if you are wanting to feel something different. Okay, lastly, when all else fails, and this is a question I've proposed to you in other videos, and some of you have just been like, what does that mean? I have no idea what that means. So the question is, when all else fails, could we ask, what would love do? You have an argument with your spouse. You know, you're cross with your children. Your boss is a jerk. What would love do? How would love respond? So it's almost like bypassing, considering, but bypassing our own, mm, our own thoughts and taking a higher stance. Like what would love do? Someone criticizes you, acts like a jerk. What would love do? How would love respond to this? And again, this stuff can just start to prop you up more and more and get you into a place of dominion and power, but not power is like an egotistical, but like, what would love do? I get, I mean, you all can read the comments. Most of them, I'd say 99% of them, you are wonderful people. And then you get those really spicy ones. And I practice this every single day. What would love do? How would love respond to this? Beating yourself up for not achieving all the things that you've wanted this past year or the last couple years or, you know, okay, what would love do? How would love respond to that? Do you wake up tired just feeling the same old BS, you know, oh, just another day of doing this thing? Okay, what would love do? How would love respond? And own that, take that in and start making different choices so that you can step into the stream. You can step into a different stream and start feeling life in a different way. So in closing, I just wanna remind you that you're not alone. The This channel is growing very, very quickly and it's not the Ashley show. Sure, I've got some cool things to say and some tools to share, but Again, my service is community. My service is helping humanity and we do that together. This is not, I don't know what it's not, but I know what it is. It is a community of people who want to experience a better life with respect and consideration of the past. And I wanna help more and more, like let's find a future, create the future that we want and need now. Respect the past. The last couple of years have been, you've heard me say it, hot, garbage, hot garbage for most people. And for the people who have been doing really well, what I would say to that is thank you. Because could you imagine what the world would be like if every person was having a really hard time? We need the balance. So if the, the scales were like this and most people were having a really difficult time, but there were some people still doing really well, that has helped us just navigate this. But I want my work, with you all to start shifting the tides. Let's find a different current. I want more people doing well. And if I can help affect that positive change, y'all just, you want to get on board really. So in closing, I want to share two more things. One, please, whatever it is that you're most challenged by, my invitation is to please start to transform it the way it intends to transform you. So if the last couple of years have been hot garbage and you know, you fill in the blank. Okay, 
please work to start to transform it the way it has intended to transform you. Who have you become as a result of that? How much more resilient and intuitive or sensible are you now because you know how, how hard it can actually be? So it's letting, it's like transforming it and letting it transform you. Okay, last thing I would say is profound healing. This is Matt Kahn, this is not my work. Matt Kahn says profound healing and freedom happen when we feel the void, when it's felt versus filled with noise and distraction. So the more that we can turn into the stuff in life that hurts and is confusing and doesn't make sense, like it's the owie, the more that we can turn into that and not just endure it, like, oh, I just feel so crummy and whatever. It's not just about enduring it, but turning into it and getting to know it. Okay, this is the experience of sadness. This is the experience of confusion. All right, okay. This is, like, I think the more that we, we can turn into it, we will get through it faster. So if you're looking for tools or support or resources so that, you know, you can continue to make your way towards the experience in life that you really do want, you will find many, many tools on this channel that you can use tucked into every single video. Pinky swear, pinky swear, to help you start to create the future that you really want now. But here's the thing, it's gonna require your participation. There's no magic pill, there's no magic wand. You have to show it for yourself and do the work. It's our only way through it. The only way through is, the only way out is through. And how do you get through then by using your own two feet or however you move about to get through the thing that is, uh, it's just where you're at. Okay, that's it. Hey, lipstick. I was reading the tea leaves. Okay, your friend Ash, good day, good night. I will see you in the comment section. And I look forward to stepping into a new stream with you to create the future that we want and need now as a collective. If we were in the collective pressure cooker, why not create the future? We just have to use different capabilities. Okay, I'll see you in the comments. Good day, good night. Adios.